Hey everybody, this is Mark with iAble Tech One Twitch, and today we are going to be reviewing the loading page plugin for WordPress. So, before we get started, I just want to let you know this is on a test website, so there really is no content on here. Um, so, keep that in mind. This is on their main website that we're working on because, well, the server's down, so the, that's why it's on this one. But everything's the same, really. So once you upload and activate the plugin, this is what it looks like. You can go to settings, a nice tab, because there's not always settings on all of these ones. Or you can request custom changes, which is nice as well. So under settings, we have a couple of options. First, we can enable it. And let me show you what it actually looks like first here real quick. So if I go ahead and open this up, you can see a demonstration of it. There's a loading bar right there. and then. I just added this big image right here so you can actually see it because otherwise there's no content on here so it would just load fast enough that you couldn't see it. So that's why it looks like that. Then we can display the loading page or the yeah the loading page on home page only, all pages or these specific pages. I prefer to do home page only, so let me change that because I think you can't really access anything until the website's completely loaded. So I prefer just to have users only wait once they are arrived at the website for the first time, not every single time they want to do something. So there's also a couple of different options. First, we have the bar screen, and this is the only option you get with the free version. If you upgrade to the full version, you get different options for here as well. And effects, we'll take a look at that in a minute as well. So let's just take a look at all of these real quick. This is a bar screen. So there's the bar it's going across. I like that one. And then let's see. We got animated ball screen. And that just told me that it's only on browsers that support Canvas, which is all of them pretty much. There's that one. I like that one a lot as well. Then we have centered bar ring bar screen. That's the one. I think that one's probably my favorite because it's just like a loading bar, basically. Then there's ring screen, again, telling me this only works on browsers that support Canvas. There's that one. There's just a number. I didn't see any rings. And then there's a double ring screen as well. Those last two don't work for me. That's all it shows up right there. Um, it's supposed to look like this. I'll show you on the screen right now. That's what it's supposed to look like. So let's just go back to one. I really like this, the animated balls screen. So what we can do right here is we can change the object color. So this will be the color of the balls. So we can make it maybe yellow. Then we can either do a image as a background, which I do have on the other website before it crashed, or you can pick a color. So let's just do a gray. Go like that and then display image and full screen if you wanted to do that then there's effect so let me just show you my two color changes that I've made as you can see the balls are um, gray so I had that mix messed up my bad foreground that'd be the objects this is the background maybe they should flip that around I don't know. but then there's tons of effects and they're really, really, really cool. So here's the first one. So as you can see that, the website has an animation when it's coming in. I really, really, really love that so much. Like that, the little animation, so the screen and everything, that's cool, but this is like worth it. The extra upgrade fee, you only, get um the you only get one of these i believe i'm not sure which one right now but you only get one animation with the free version and then these animations alone are just worth it I mean, like they're really cool so here's a look at all of them for you
So there were those. And then we could also display our loading percentage. So that's all these settings and adjustments you can have. It's really, really cool. And those effects are amazing. I really love them so much. So the last thing we have is lazy loading. And if you're not familiar with lazy loading, what this is, is it only loads images that are in view. So if you scroll down, then it will load those images, but not if you're not looking at them. So it makes it so the pages load a little bit quicker. So we can enable that. And you can select the image to load by default if you want an image to always load. But there you have it. Those are all of the features of loading screen or loading page for WordPress. This is a really, really cool plugin and I highly recommend it. If you're interested in it, you can check it out with that link down in the description below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Mark with IELTS Tech 128.